Hey, what's happening everybody? This is Royce from Pedal Mel. Welcome to my channel. Tonight's video is going to be checking out these two new Tarmac Works 164 scale Volvo wagons. And we have the racing livery version of the 850 T5R and we have a street version in the uh, cream yellow, I believe is what they called that. I almost said pastel yellow, but I believe they called it cream yellow. And that is the street version on the right hand side. So we will get right into this and open them up. Uh, the racing version here, this one is dated uh, 1994 and it's a Ricard Rydell is the driver. And I love the packaging. It even looks like it's going fast in the pack. Hence the blurred guardrails. And uh, this wagon was, I don't think it won any races, but it really, uh, really woke people up to seeing what these wagons could do and it was awesome seeing them being put on two wheels during the uh, btcc races these come with a quality control card inside each box I like how the blues match the car. It's really cool. Really nicely done. These, I have to admit, this is the first Tarmac Works cars that I've ever reviewed on my channel. So I'm pretty excited about being able to check these out. We have a single Phillips head screw on the bottom here. So we'll, we'll definitely dismount these. The detail looks phenomenal from what I'm already uh, seeing here initially. But we'll put it up on the uh, turntable here. I love this base. The base is great. And that's not just a piece of paper laying on there. It's an actual, feels like it's a decal of some sort on this base. That is really nice. Uh, these are just incredible. Especially for for I wait for what I paid for these. This is these are just a, really something something else. So I'm gonna see here how bad this will be to get off. I have a zero Phillips screwdriver here. Shouldn't be too bad to take this off. Being a single screw, that's pretty nice. There we go. Dismounted. There's the underside. It was separate exhaust pipe, and I love the uh, the tow hook is a separate piece there. I feel almost like I should have special gloves on for these. I mean, these are really, really something to to behold, and I, I hate to get the my finger oils all over them. So I'm gonna uh, handle these as least amount as possible. I'm gonna sit that down until we go to the next one here, and I can put them on the turntable together. So let's check out the street version. Uh, the race version was, I believe, 290 horsepower or so. Uh, the the uh, street version of five-cylinder turbo is uh, 240 horsepower, supposedly. And here's the quality control card. Matches the colors as well, which is really unique. No business card slash control card. Yeah, these are just, wow, these things are something else. So we also have a single, we have a marbleized pattern on the top of this base that so looks really classy. I think that, I could be wrong, that might even be made to duplicate the interior of the car. So we'll dismount this sucker here and take a look here. All right, I'm up on the turntable now. It's really, uh, really, really something to see. I wish everybody could see these in person because they are quite impressive. It almost looks like someone took a 118th scale die cast and just shrunk it down. And uh, I used to have an auto art. I sold it in the cream yellow of the wagon and uh, kind of regret selling that now but this this is pretty much like an auto art just shrunk down so we'll stop it here and take a closer look 
we have many 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 details on the interior There was a tiny, you can see it right there in the, to the R, there's a tiny antenna on the roof that is really, really delicate. I don't want to pierce my skin with that. I'm pretty sure it's metal. And uh, this is just something else. I mean, there's tiny brake rotors. Well, I'm not sure about brake. I think there is brake rotors. There's brake calipers. The details on the wheels are just incredible and the tires. Just, uh, they're separate photo etched metal hood pins. You can kind of see there. It's hard to see against the white, but they're there. Another tow hook on the front right hand side, left on the screen. There is a red fire bottle inside there. I don't know if you can kind of see it right there. I apologize. It's very hard to photograph some of these. I don't think, I think this is resin. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have much weight to it. So I don't think this is die cast. I'm pretty sure this body is all resin. Um, the wheels do not, well, they sort of roll. I was going to say, I lost focus there. They don't really roll. Uh, fronts do, sort of. But it's slammed down so low. It's it's absolutely insane how low this is. I love all the separate taillight lenses and the, the um, front lenses are all separate pieces as well. This also looks great. All the decals look great on it. Paint job's pretty decent. We have the, the mirrors are specific to this race car. They're a little more rounded as opposed to the uh, rectangle ones from the street version. So you do have the uh, different mirrors. But I highly recommend these. Like I said, this is the first ones I had purchased. I did want to get an RWB car to review and I ended up seeing these and I jumped on the pair of these because they were reasonably priced I thought and it was from a seller in the United States so I wouldn't have to wait months and months to get them which is always nice if you're curious about my background that is also car number 15 that is from a old Tamiya or Tamiya, how you prefer to pronounce it, a Tamiya 124 scale plastic model kit box ad since I was younger that I saved. All right, so let's take a look here at the street version. Uh, this is cream yellow with the all black leather interior. Also has the 17 inch wheels. I'm sure the, I think the race version was 19s, I believe on the race version. These are 17s. I'm pretty sure they're not 18s. Now this does have a rear wing on the back, which um, oddly enough, I just had to ship one of these wings the other day. I sold mine from my old wagon and uh, yeah, it was shocking how much it costs to ship. Really cool. Also has separate headlight assembly lenses. The grill appears to be also separate. The mirrors are, of course, separate. Uh, door handles are painted in. I just noticed that it has the little factory, little penis looking hitch on the back there. That's interesting, isn't it? They put the little factory option hitch, hitch on the back. And this also does have a separate exhaust pipe. But like I said, it doesn't really weigh much. This one actually weighs, a, it feels like it weighs a little bit heavier than the race version. 
oddly enough. So I I don't know. Maybe these are. I don't think they are though. I don't think it's die cast. The roof rails look great in separate black plastic pieces. Overall, very, very cool. No quality issues that I could find, unlike when I get GT Spirit cars in the mail and there's always something that falls off of them because of the way that they're you know, glued together. There's always some issue. All right, so there you go. That is both Tarmac Works Volvo 850 estate wagons. Was that kind of was that redundant estate and wagon together? I guess you just over here in US we say wagons or station wagon, but overseas they call them estates. And uh, but there anyway, we have both versions here: the street version and the racing livery version of the 850 T5R. And we will wrap that up. I apologize. I'm having all kinds of issues. This camera, I believe, is getting to a little long in the tooth that it no longer wants to focus on minute details anymore and I think it's time to get a new camera maybe Santa will bring me one so there you go thanks for watching if you guys like this type of video be sure to give me a like share subscribe all that good stuff if you're not a subscriber please consider sus subscribing it's free and you can't be free and until next time I will see you guys have a good night. See you soon. Happy holidays. Bye now.